Kinases are enzymes that catalyze the transfer of a phosphate from ATP to a molecule, typically a protein that either gets activated or deactivated. A tyrosine kinase will phosphorylate a tyrosine residue on a protein through a covalent catalysis mechanism. Receptor tyrosine kinases, or RTKs, are a type of tyrosine kinase that are transmembrane proteins with its receptor domain in the extracellular side of the cell and its kinase domain on the cytosolic side. The pathway starts by a signaling molecule binding to the receptor portion of this RTK. RTKs act in pairs, so once the ligand binds, the two receptors join to form what's called a dimer. This dimer activates the tyrosine kinase domains of the two RTKs. The kinase then autophosphorylates, meaning it phosphorylates itself. The RTK then acts as a docking site for other proteins become phosphorylated and thus creating a signal cascade. Many RTKs are receptors for growth factors, meaning that when activated, they signal for the cell to grow and proliferate. Mutations may cause the RTK to become overactive or malfunction, leading to an increased cell growth and division, and thus cancer. Studying these kinases and their activity helps in the understanding of and innovations in treating cancer. An example of this would be epidermal growth factor receptor, or EGFR, a deletion or point mutation of just a single amino acid hyperactivates the kinase and thus amplifies the signaling pathway, leading to glioblastoma, an aggressive tumor in the brain. EGFR tyrosine kinase inhibitors can then be used as cancer treatment to block the overactive activity. However, an underactive EGFR has been linked to Alzheimer's disease interestingly enough. Examples of these tyrosine kinase inhibitor drugs are erlotinib, gefitinib, and lapatinib. They are competitive inhibitors that bind to the kinase domain of EGFR, preventing autophosphorylation and thus the signaling pathway.